Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part three of the same exercise. We have already done few questions from the this exercise. You can have a look at a previous video. So we'll start with question number thirteen. On a map drawn to scale, zero point six centimeter represents six point six kilometer. If the distance between two points on the map is seventy point five centimeter, find the actual distance between these points. So now see here, when the scale is now scale on a map, this is given in centimeter, and the distance is given in kilometer. So now this, whenever it is zero point six, the distance here is given here. This is six point six. So now the scale is increasing. This is seventy point five. So this the distance also should increase. So this is a di direct variation. So we can write here this whole thing. We can write sorry that is six zero point six divided by six point six, and this is seventy point five divided by. We can put any variable over here, but I just put y because you know this will be. Whenever we have the direct relation, we usually write here x one by y one is equal to x two by y two. So you can also write x. So that is an unknown. We have to find out the distance when it is seventy point five centimeter. So now this is the easiest way. One of the this one that you have to cross multiply. So zero point six into y. This will be seventy. Either you write six point six into seventy point five or seventy point five into six point six. So y is going to be This whole thing, because this is on the right hand side, this will go on the right side, so it will get divided. So now look at here. Can you see the decimals over here? Six point six and zero point six. After one number is a decimal. This also after one number is a decimal. So you can also write here sixty six by six. This is what I have written. Or I'll show you the other way. Six point six divided by zero point six. So six point six can be written as sixty six divided by ten. And zero point six can be written as six divided by ten. So this is the numerator. This is the denominator. So sixty six by ten. This will get flip over. So this will be ten by six. So this and this gets cancelled, and it will be sixty six by six. You can. This was. You can do it anyways, whichever you feel easy. So now, at least these decimals are gone. So only what we can do here: six ones are six eleven are. That is eleven six are sixty six. And when you multiply this into this, you get you can multiply and see we get seven hundred and seventy five point five kilometer. So we can write here what did they say? Find the actual distance between these points. So the actual distance is seven hundred and seventy five point five kilometer. The cost of a box of dark chocolates and that of a hazelnut chocolates are in the ratio two is to three. Find the cost of one box of hazelnut chocolate. Sorry, if the Cost of one box of hazelnut chocolates is rupees three hundred forty-five. We have to find the cost of a box of dark chocolate. So now, this one, we want the cost of a box of dark chocolate. So now let us consider this as we don't know. So we will consider this as x. So we can say let the cost of a box of dark chocolates be rupees x. So now we, what we can see here, if the cost of one box of hazelnut is rupees. Three hundred and forty-five. So we have got of a box means one. So this we we have considered this as x. X by three forty-five is what the ratio is given as two is to three is two divided means two is to three. We can also write this as two by three. So now let us see here. We are going to cross multiply here. So three x is two into three forty-five. So x will be two into three forty-five. This is going to get divided. So three ones are three one one five. When you multiply this, that is going to be two hundred and Thirty. That is in. We can also write here rupees. So we can say cost of a box of dark chocolates is two hundred and rupees two hundred and thirty. Now let us see for the B part. Cost of five boxes of dark chocolate. So we got one box of dark chocolate that we got as two hundred and thirty. So we can say for five, one box of dark chocolate is rupees two hundred and thirty. Therefore, five boxes of dark chocolates. We are because this is a word problem. We are going to write it in a proper way. 
so that will be 230 into 5 that is rupees 1150 so this is the answer if 1350 perfume bottles of the same size can be placed in 50 cartons of the same size how many such cartons are required to pack 2997 perfume bottles so number of perfume bottles that is 1350 and we need for this one 50 cartons so number of cartons that is 50 so now here we have 2997 so we'll write here in place of this 2997 and here you can put any variable so we need the number of cartons we don't know so now we will put because it's a direct variation because see here the perfume bottles so this is 50 so number of per perfume bottles are increasing means this also should increase so this is a direct variation so we can write here 130 1350 by 50 is 2997 by y so again we are going to cross multiply here so this will be 1350 into y that is so y is going to be this is the same thing here divided by 1350 so this and this gets cancelled 5 ones are 5 27 are and 27 111 so y is 11 111 so number of cartons required are 111 heyman can type 1020 words per hour how many words can he type in 23 minutes so now see here this is given per hour means in hours and this is in minutes so either we convert that in hours or we have to convert but let us do one thing because this is number of hours so now this is one hour so we can convert this in minutes so you know one hour is you can also write here one, one sentence here one hour is 60 minutes you can also include this one so what will we do we wrote here total number of words that is 1020 and number of hours here or we can write here because we have converted already in minutes so we can write here number of minutes so now we will write here that is 60 minutes and this will be we don't know the number of words for this one when it in 23 minutes so now can you see both are minutes so now again what you can do see here we can write here 1020 divided by 60 is here y divided by 23 so now what you can do here when, when you are going to cross multiply this one 1020 into 23 is y into 60 so here 1020 divided by this 60 is y so now this can cancel out so 6 ones are 6 17 are so 17 23 that will be 391 so this with y so we can say heyman can type 391 words in 23 minutes a lorry travels 28 kilometers in 50 minutes how far can we travel in five hours if the speed remains the same so now this is in minutes and this is in hours so we can write here one hour is 60 minutes so five hours again we are going to convert it that is going to be 300 minutes so we can write a distance traveled by a lorry in kilometer how much is that 28 this will be time taken in minutes so this is given as 50 so we can write here 50 now how far can you travel in five hours that is we have converted this to minutes so 300 we'll write here because this is the time and we don't know the distance so now here yeah, again what we can do here 28 by 50 is going to y by 300 so this is going to get 28 into 300 that is 50 into y so 28 into 300 divided by 50 that is y so this and this gets cancelled five ones are five six are so this will be 168 so it can travel 168 kilometers in five hours if the cost of 13 meter of cloth is rupees 546 find a cost of 4 meter of cloth so now 13 meter is 546 so 4 meter will be how much we don't know so we can consider this as y or you can make a separate table if you want what is the this one the as we have done this type of table you can also do it or you can write it directly here so this will be 13 into y is 4 into 546 so y will be 4 into 546 this will get divided by 13 so now what will you do here 13 ones are 13 42s are and here 
42 fourza that is 168 so we can say cost of 4 meter of cloth is rupees 168 if the mass of 35 sheets of paper is 280 gram how many sheets will weigh 7.2 kilograms so now see here this is in grams and this is in kilograms so now let us consider uh, convert this in or grams so one kilogram you know that is 1000 gram so 7.2 kilogram will be 7.2 into 1000 that is going to be 7200 gram so now we can make a table so number of sheets of paper how many are given that is 35 so that is 280 grams so we have 7.2 means that is 7200 because this is here so we can write it over here 7200 and we don't know the number of sheets over here so we can put any uh, variable here so now this will be 35 by 280 is going to be y by 7200 so we'll cross multiply here so 35 into 7200 that is y into 280 so 7 this will be same here this 280 will come here in the denominator because it changes the side and this y as it is so now we can do here this and this will get cancelled then seven fives are and seven fours are so four ones are and four one eighties are so this is going to be 900 so this is y so 900 sheets of paper will weigh 7.2 kilogram here the mass of an iron rod varies directly to its length if a 15 centimeter long rod has a mass of 180 gram find the length of mass 105 gram. so mass of an iron rod that is gram so that is how much is given as a mass of 180 but that is how much what is the length of the rod that is in centimeter that is 15 so now see here this is the for this one so 15 is this one and this is the mass is 180 so we have to find now this is the next sentence find the length of mass we don't know the length of this mass this we don't know which is 105 gram so this is 105 so now let us see here 180 by 15 is 105 by y so now when you cross multiply this one so 180 into y that will be 15 into 105 so y is going to be 15 into 105 divided by 180 so 15 ones are this will be 12 so now this doesn't go directly so we can just see 105 divided by 12 12 eights are 96 so these will be 9 and then you are going to put here 0 so this is going to be point here so 12 sevens are 84 so this will be 6 we will put here 12 fives are 60 so the remainder here is 0 so 8.75 centimeter so length of mass 105 gram is 8.5 centimeter so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you